Hello everybody, my name is Jai, and welcome to part 2. Um, if you remember in the last video, we opened up these new carriages just along here. And I also, also said in the next video, which is this one, we're going to be having two trains around the track. So that's what we're going to be doing exactly today. Now I have already tested all of these, um... Carriages. I have tested all the track and all that at the start every single time It went around the curve or if it was going too fast it would derail. I've got some pretty awesome pictures that I will quickly show you a few now Yeah, they're pretty cool pictures aren't they? I'm planning on making a um cool video of it. But anyway, the, the aren't the elements that I caught on live sadly, but you know no one might catch a couple on here. And the track isn't really that good yet. We're still gonna stay for a couple day a couple more days. But anyway we'll start our first train right here. I have already also warmed up these engines. So don't worry, they should be fine. There you go, there goes the first one. Let's start the second one. Move that part out of the way. Okay, I'll get some good shots and then um, we'll see what happens next. It sounds like something is due out. We'll have a quick look in a second. Yeah, something's definitely due out. Turn off its switch. It seems real good. Oh, there, Mars, right? Screen bluish carriage fell off. And so this boxcar a bit. Right. No, it should be good. Well, let's have another do around, didn't we? This is probably the coolest train set that I've done so far. I mean, once I get a proper layout done, then it will look good. But to me, this is pretty good. But the most of your would keep happening just up there. Quite a few of them. As you know, the green one is obviously a much better one. Plus, it's older, but it's got a little bit of a better motor in it than what the red one has. See, this is a red one. Almost at full speed. 
This is the green one, only on 50%, and it's, and it's still going faster. Oh! Well, I did say we might get a derailment. Let's have a look and expect the damage. This is probably going to make it have a lot of views now. <laughs> uh, well, it ain't that bad. But there's the box car. The caboose again, this probably kind of was going too fast. Uh, let's see if I can get that back on the rail. Yeah, just imagine doing this with end scale. It'd be impossible for me. Oh, great, it's made it worse. Right, editing! Just wait for it to get around here. Stop it. Uh, yep. Just what I'd show you the train. That's goodness. So here, you know, I know in America you would call it an auto rack. I'm close to it. This is what an Australian one looks like. I'm quite surprised how that carriage right there can't have its doors open. I'm quite surprised about that. But oh well. Um, this one can have its door open. It works on the other side, but I've had to glue, glue tack this down because this thing keeps falling off and it makes the door come off. So, um, other than that, every carriage is virtually intact. The caboose is a bit damaged. Some of its detail has fallen off, but you know, ain't that bad. Also, a little piece of the um, caboose on the other side snapped a bit. But this was when I opened it, as you can see. Oh well. Uh, anyway, though, well, I guess that will wrap it up for now. I've got a cool video coming out with all the train derailments that have happened so far. There's been like six or seven train derailments. And the, the, the video, which is just full of pictures, goes for about five minutes, so. Because I took quite a few pictures of the same thing. But I have managed to fix the track a bit, so no one near as many derailments are happening now. All in all, I don't want this video to go any longer, so thanks for watching. There are more trains in your era videos, and much cooler train videos, as well as more Shanique videos coming up soon. So I hope you'll um, be excited for them. Until then, see you soon.